answer that. But I don't know what she's going to do with it. All that bitterness and this blistering inside her. You sent her from this life to the next, carrying shame. She was sick for my. get down the poison, the rat poison, and I pour myself the whiskey, and I top the bottle back up with the poison, and I slosh it around a little bit, and I take it in, and I take it right through, and I watch him drink it until it's done, until he's on his knees, on his knees in front of himself, all spluttery and choking, trying to tell me something's wrong, because I know something's wrong, mate, because you fucking deserve it. You should always ask me over and over again, truly can't, truly I come. My God, I've always been rubbish at lying, but I was good at it by the end. Have you ever seen disappointment on a dying face? It's not like she didn't try to make it up to you. When Alvin left, she sent for you. Finally, she could have the family that she always wanted. She called you up, begged you to come. Didn't she? What? You can't remember? Because we do. She left us in this house all alone. Went to the phone box. She was gone for ages. I started to panic, so I went upstairs, going in my room, thinking about where you were going to sleep, as though you were going to walk in with her. I didn't mind sharing her. We were used to that. I don't know what you said, but how you said it, it was clear. Truly now I come. And you were right not to come. Because mum wanted you, but England didn't. It didn't want her, it didn't want him, it didn't want them, and it didn't want me. So you can stand there, all victorious, and watch us grieve. 